Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I had a viewer or subscriber email me and ask me, and I guess by the email, he's drawing these one-inch boxes with open sides. Um, I'm going to have to ask him what he's drawing. But he's doing it like this, and he asked if there was a better way because he has to do a lot of them. If you hold down your control button, some kind of Corel does that, draw you a line and make it one inch long. And this is what he was doing. He was control D and making a duplicate and then moving the rotation to the end and rotating at 90 degrees. And then making a duplicate of that and rotating it from here and rotating it 180 degrees. And he had to do that every time. And also you can't just hit control D because it'll keep rotating. So you have to click off of it and then click on it again. Double click, move your rotation. And now you have to rotate this one 90 degrees and so on and so on. So what I feel is faster to me and a lot easier is to draw a one inch by one inch square. Let's put it in the center of the page. No, I'll tell you what, this is what we're going to do. We're going to draw a two inch by one inch square. We're going to take our two point line and holding down the control button, get a perfectly square line, put it in the center of the page and delete this side. Now just take away your line. Control D and we're going to move it down one inch and we're going to rotate it. Control D, move it down an inch, and rotate it. Now, we've, we're done, except for the fact we have broken, we have double lines here, and this is going to cut twice. So let, let's change our nudge factor to like 0.25. And this is, if I didn't have to talk, I'd be already done. Nudge this up, nudge this down, and you see these lines go up to a range or take it back, go to shaping tool. I'd already had these converted to a curve and just delete these two nodes. Take this box and put it back down your half inch box down up half inch. Now I would go ahead and weld these together. And then you have one continuous line that would cut. And I am going to ask him what he's drawing, but it's a lot faster by just thinking ahead and just making things and deleting things instead of trying to rotate this you know there's one two three four five six seven rotations and uh and if you had to do a lot this is going to be the for sure the most simpler way anyway hope that helped him a little bit thank you for watching